Hello wine people, in this video I will be covering all the red wine appellations and regions and their labeling terms that you need to remember for your WSET level 2 in wine course. I made a separate video on white wine appellations which was very helpful so on the, the on demand of the wine people I'm making this video now so you can have time for you to prepare for your WST level 2 in wine exam. Please, I want to point out Testing your knowledge on the mock exam and having this kind of video where I lay out all this dry information is very helpful for you and interesting, I understand, but the most important thing is for you to develop and first of all be aware of viticulture and vinification factors that are affecting style, quality and price of the wine. This is very important just because you want to have deeper understanding for things. You, 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 ju you don't just want to remember fact information. You want to understand this information, how it affects the style, quality and price of the wines. This is especially important if you're planning to do your level 3 and your level 4 diploma WSET course. In order for you to be successful, successful on level 3 and level 4, you need to have this kind of uh, understanding that is actually not that important on level 2. You will pass your level 2, but you need to be aware of the level of knowledge that you need to have on the higher levels. This kind of awareness for you to develop now will pay in advance later on. All right? So let's focus on today's video. Let's go. Okay, wine people, in this video I will cover all the red wine uh, appellations and grape varieties that they're connected with. And I will indicate the labeling term, uh, terms that you need to remember. And on the end we will answer 30 multiple choice um, questions. Uh, Please understand that this kind of information, um, which is fact information, it's a dry information that is, you just need to remember. But the way that is easier, at least for me to remember all this information, if it is if I attack the information from different angles, it means that, you know, I use maps. So I see where the appellation is located. I see uh, I understand the, the factors that are affecting the, the ripening process of the grape. So is it soil? Is it um, the climate? Is there any um, uh, moderating effect in, in that region? I understand the, uh, the characteristics of, of the grapes. Uh, so all this will help you to, to have more um, uh, long-term uh, memory for for this dry information and it's always difficult on on, uh, on on the beginning but later on you'll get familiar and it will be easier so first great variety that we'll start with is Pinot Noir you can see that Pinot Noir grows in many many regions and one of the classic uh, questions that you expect on WST level 2 is to recognize all the appellations that Pinot Noir grows in so countries that you need to remember is France, USA, Chile, um, South, uh, South Africa, Australia and New Zealand. And you will realize that Pinot Noir is a grape that enjoys a cooler climate. So even though mo uh, some of these regions are usually have a warm Mediterranean climate, there are factors that are influencing that are uh, that are influencing uh, these regions to have a more moderate cooler climate and in these parts of, of these countries Pinot Noir grows, can grow well. Uh, in France you need to remember Burgundy, appellation of Bourgogne indicates a regional appellation which means that the grapes can come from anywhere in anywhere in Burgundy and these regional appellations you're gonna see later on is not only connected with Burgundy indicates usually a more lighter, simpler style of wines. When you go to a more specific, smaller appellations, then the, usually the, the quality of the wine um, goes up. Uh, Burgundy is divided, the, that central part of Burgundy is called Côte d'Or, uh, Golden Slopes in translation, and is divided in two, two parts. The north part is called Côte de Nuit, 
the south part is called Kodabon. The, the villages within re these regions that you need to remember is uh, village of Jevry Chambertin, Nuit Saint Georges, and in the south is Bon and Pomart. Labeling terms Premier Cru and Grand Cru indicate specific uh, vineyards where the grapes are coming from. So the quality hierarchy in Burgundy starts with Bourgogne, the, the lowest level which is a regional appellation, step up in quality is a village level, like Gevry Chambertin, step up in quality is a um, single vineyard appellation, like Premier Cru, and then the top quality comes from Grand Cru. In the United States, you need to remember two, uh, con uh, two uh, countries, uh, like uh, California and uh, Oregon. Oregon is in the north. It has a little bit cooler climate than uh, than California. In California, you need to remember Los Carneros, Sonoma, and Barbara County, which all of them are con uh, located on the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Chile, Casablanca Valley, also on the coast, one of the coolest uh, appellations in 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 Chile. Walker Bay in South Africa, also on the coast one of the coolest areas in South Africa. Australia, Yara and Mornington Peninsula, also in the south. Uh, ya uh, Yara Valley is also a little bit on a higher altitude and Mornington Peninsula is on the, on the, on, on the coast, which has a cooler, uh, cooler climate than regions inland. In New Zealand, three appellations that you need to remember. Uh, New Zealand generally has a moderating, uh, moderated climate. Uh, Martinborough in the North Island, Marlborough in the South Island, and uh, the most important, I wouldn't say most important, but very specific appellation uh, of Central Otago that produces uh, great examples of, of Pinot Noir. Zinfandel and Primitivo is the same grape variety, it's just different, uh, different name in different countries. Zinfandel is called in USA, Primitivo is called in Italy and specifically in the region of Puglia. Puglia is that southern part, the hill of Italy. Merlot, you're going to see Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon later on, uh, it's going to have almost identical, uh, identical uh, regions. Uh, usually, when when we say a Bordeaux blend, that will indicate a Cabernet Merlot or Merlot Cabernet uh, blend. Uh, in France, Merlot is connected with Bordeaux. Uh, appellations that you need to uh, remember for Bordeaux is Bordeaux. Again, that regional appellation, Bordeaux Superior, same area, just it's an indication that the grapes should be a little bit riper than just for basic Bordeaux. Uh, Merlot, we'll talk about these specific grape varieties in, in their own videos and I'll explain in detail all of this. Uh, Bordeaux is divided in the left and right side, depending uh, left and right side on the, of the river Gironde. It separates the, the left from the right and uh, Merlot is more associated with the right side because it's slightly cooler climate because of the soil and uh, uh, a less effect of the Atlantic Ocean and Cabernet is more connected with the left side which is more uh, gravelly, warmer, drier soil and also Atlantic uh, warms up the, the region more on the left side than on the right. Uh, so Merlot is more on the right side. Uh, regions Pomerol and Saint-Emilion, uh, Grand Cru, Saint-Emilion Grand Cru is the same appellation uh, is our located on the right side of Gironde River. On the left side, the appellations that you need to remember, remember is Omedoc. Omedoc is a larger area and then within Omedoc uh, appellations like uh, Margot and Poyac. And then the region of Graf is a larger area located south of the city of Bordeaux. Uh, has a specific appellation of Pesac Leonion, which is connected with more premium uh, style wines. Specific labeling terms for uh, Red Bordeaux is superior, like I said, which doesn't really indicate any higher quality. It indicates that the wine needs to be higher alcohol. 
Grand Cru Classé, which uh, Grand Cru Classé and Cru Bourgeois are actually not appellations, they are classification systems, which usually um, in Bordeaux indicate indicates that the wines are higher quality and usually determines uh, higher prices of, of, of the wine. So Grand Cru Classé was a classification that was made in 1855, it was barely changed since then. Uh, and then uh, Cru Bourgeois is a classification for wines that were not classified in 1855 and were classified now with Cru Bourgeois. Uh, so you just need, for now, you need to remember this, that this uh, labeling terms are connected with Bordeaux. Uh, Landoc Roussillon, we're going to mention it a few times. It's a big region in south of France uh, that many grapes grow in, and um, uh, specifically Pai de Oc, it's an IGP appellation. Uh, Merlot in United States, California, Napa Valley, and Sonoma. In Chile, Central Valley, which is central part of, uh, of Chile, usually connected with uh, more cheaper and simple, uh, simple wines. South Africa, premium region of Stellenbosch. Uh, Australia, uh, Margaret River, which is located on the west side of Australia, famous for its um, white and, uh, white and uh, red Bordeaux blends. And then Hawke's Bay. Uh, has a, it's a specific appellation for a more uh, warmer climate uh, for Merlot and also for Cabernet, you will see. Cabernet Sauvignon, countries of France, USA, Chile, South Africa, Australia, and New Zealand, um, very similar to, to, uh, to Merlot. Uh, the main difference is where it grows in, in, um, in Bordeaux. So in Bordeaux, it grows mainly on the left side, which is more drier, warmer, uh, warmer climate. Uh, like I said, appellation of Omedoc. Within Omedoc, you have Margot and Poyac, and then south of the city of Bordeaux, city of Bordeaux separates basically the Omedoc from Grave. Uh, in Grave, you have the Pesa Cleonio, and then the same labeling terms as uh, as for Merle. Basically, these labeling terms are associated with red wines in, in Bordeaux. Uh, Landoc Ration again, Pais de Oc again. In California, now there's more specific appellations that you need to remember next to Napa Valley and Sonoma. There's uh, appellations within Napa Valley, like Oakville, Rutherford, and Calistoga uh, that you need to remember. In Chile, next to Central Valley, you also need to remember uh, Maipo Valley and Colchago Valley which will indicate higher quality wines than just saying Central Valley. Uh, in South Africa, premium region of uh, Stellenbosch, uh, labeling term that you need to connect, it, uh, connect with, um, with South Africa is Cape Blend, which indicates uh, local grape varieties like uh, uh, Pinotage uh, are blended with other international grape varieties like Merlot and Cabernet Sauvignon. In Australia, Margaret River, like we said for Merlot, but also uh, specific appellations of Cunavara, which is located in South, uh, South Australia, and it's exclusively connected with Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, again, Hawke's Bay uh, for Merlot, Cabernet, Bordeaux blends in uh, New Zealand. Syrah or Shiraz is the same grape variety, it's just indicating different style of wine. So if you see Syrah on the label, it should indicate this um, Ron uh, French style, which is more lighter, more elegant, uh, less ripe. And then if you see Shiraz on the label, it should indicate this uh, Australian style, which is more riper, fuller body, uh, higher alcohol wines. In, the, um, uh, in France, Syrah you're going to connect with Rhone Valley, but more specifically with the Northern Rhone. If you, in Northern Rhone, Syrah is the only black gray variety. And uh, appellations that you need to remember are in the North Rhone are Cote Roti, Hermitage and Crozes Hermitage. In, um, again, Landoc Roussillon, but there's now a specific appellation that you need to remember, uh, Minervois. 
and in Australia, southeastern Australia is a large region that is um, basically connecting three different uh, regions, New South Wales, Victoria and South Australia and then two uh, specific appellations that you need to remember Barossa Valley and Hunter Valley. It's much easier when, I, when we go into specific uh, grape varieties and then I show you uh, we talk about grape with the grape and we also I'll, I'll show you a map and I, I explain all this so that is going to be more uh, easier way to remember all this like I said now this dry information you know it's useful I mean it's useful you know to see it from uh, different different angles um, also uh, advice that I would like to give you you know um, organize your information I like to use Excel sheets uh, this helps me to you know uh, to, to learn for, for myself uh, Game is a great variety that is connected with the region of Burgundy uh, the region of Beaujolais so Beaujolais is a uh, is technically part of Burgundy is the most south part of Burgundy and uh, but in reality it's totally different from the rest of the Burgundy because it grows Gamay which is not uh, a grape that grows in the north and also it has different uh, different soil uh, for Gamay and uh, Burgundy you need to remember appellations of Beaujolais which is again that regional appellation and then within Burgundy there's an uh, appellation called Beaujolais village which is a more restricted area and then in, in Beaujolais you have 10 uh, Cru villages uh, and you need to remember only one which is called Fleury. Okay. Uh, Granage or Garnacha is the same grape variety, different pronunciation. Granage is called in France, Garnacha is called in Spain. Uh, three countries that you need to remember, France, Spain and Australia. In, uh, in France, Granage is connected with Southern Rhone. So we talked about Northern Rhone is ex just Syrah in the south. It's dominated by Granage, blended with uh, mostly Syrah and uh, Murvedre. So in the in the Southern Rhone, the appellations that you need to remember is that regional appellation Côte de Rhone, more restricted area Côte de Rhone village, and then you need to remember one crew appellations, uh, one crew appellation which is called Chateau of the Pap. So again, very similar classification. Um, uh, uh, quality hierarchy like in Burgundy so you have your regional you have your village and then you have your Cru wines uh, in south of France again Landoc Roussillon but now uh, uh, the region of Provence is included so Landoc Roussillon is more south and uh, southwest and Provence is southeast uh, specific appellation of uh, Minervois and the region of separate region of Côte, uh, Côte de Provence, which is dominated by Rosé and wines. In Spain, you need to remember three different regions. That is Catalonia. In Catalonia, you have a specific appellation called uh, Priorat, and then separate regions of Rioja and Navarra, and the labeling terminology of DOC, uh, DO and DOC. If you did not see the videos on um, European, uh, European and non-European wine labeling uh, terminology. Please check that video. In Australia, uh, appellations that you need to remember is Barossa Valley and McLaren Vale, specifically for Grenache. Tempranillo, Spain, three different uh, regions that you need to remember: Rioja, Ribera del Duero, and Catalonia. So Catalonia is that Mediterranean part around Barcelona. Ribera is the central north of Madrid, and Rioja is on the Atlantic uh, part on the north. Uh, specific labeling terminology for Spanish wines, um, which indicate. Uh, how much wine spends in the oak and the bottle before it's released. So uh, Hoven indicates that the wine is young, it didn't spend any time in oak. 
um, Crianza Reserva and Gran Reserva indicate that the wine spends a specific time in oak and barrel. So Crianza will be the least time in oak and barrel and Gran Reserva will be the most time in oak and barrel before it's released. And this will also affect the style, uh, style of the wine. Uh, three specific grape varieties to their uh, regions is Carmenere, Malbec and Pinotage. Carmenere is connected with Chile uh, to the region of Central Valley. There's more appellations for Carmenere uh, and Chile but for now you just need to remember these ones. Malbec is connected with Argentina and specifically Mendoza Valley and Pinotage for South Africa and Western Cape and like I said um, for Merlot and Cabernet, Cape blend indicates Pinotage blended with other international grape varieties. There's five Italian grape varieties that you need to remember and each of them they have their own uh, specific uh, regions and appellations um, that they're connected with. Nebbiolo and Barbera are connected with uh, the region of Piemonte which is the northwest uh, corner of Italy. Uh, two villages that you need to remember for Nebbiolo grape is Barolo and Barbaresco and then for uh, Barbera you need to remember appellation of Barbera de Asti. It means Barbera grape from the town of Asti. Corvina is a grape variety uh, connected with a uh, region of Veneto and specifically appellation of Valpolicella and then uh, something that's very specific for Valpolicella is that it has labeling terminology that indicates different styles of wine. So uh, Valpolicella is that regional appellation, Amarone de Valpolicella is a specific style of powerful wines from Valpolicella and then Recioto de Valpolicella indicates a sweet style of wine made from Corvina in Valpolicella region. And the additional uh, labeling term that you need to remember here is uh, Classico. You're going to hear this a lot in, the, uh, in Italian wines. It indicates that original part uh, of the region. So usually uh, regions in Italy, they started small and then they started to, to grow. Classico indicates this more hillier original part of the region and usually indicates higher quality wines. Uh, grey variety of Sangiovese, the most important black grey variety in Italy is connected with the region of Tuscany. It grows in other regions as well but you need to remember Tuscany for now. Uh, appellations that you need to remember is Chianti which is a regional appellation. It doesn't cover whole Tuscany but uh, that central part of, of, of Tuscany which is called uh, Chianti. Chianti Classico is that original part, central part of Chianti and then there's a premium appellation of Brunello di Montacino uh, for premium style of Sangiovese. Again, a uh, labeling term of Classico and Reserva, don't confuse Reserva, it's a Spanish uh, pronunciation, Reserva is Italian, Reserva indicates uh, also that the wine spent time in, in, uh, in oak and bottle before it was released. Uh, Montepucciano is a black grey variety connected with the region of Abruzzo and it's easy to remember Montepucciano di Abruzzo, from Abruzzo. I know it was dry, I know it's challenging but believe me it's gonna get easier with time. Let's, uh, let's go through this uh, 30 uh, multiple choice questions and please let me know how well you did and please let me know how easier it's getting, right? Which is not a classic region for Pinot Noir? Santa Barbara County, Pomard, Los Carneros, Stellenbosch. Uh, the correct answer is D, Stellenbosch. Sometimes on level two, uh, you're not gonna know the exact answer, but you will know uh, how to eliminate and get to the right answer. So uh, in this kind of question, you know, if you can, if you cannot know, for example, that um, Pinot Noir is grown, is it grown or not in Stellenbosch, but you can remember that Pinot Noir is connected with Santa Barbara County, Pomar de Los Carneros, then you can, uh, then you can know that uh, Stellenbosch is the uh, 
the correct answer in this case. Which is not an Italian labeling term? Classico, Crienza, Recioto, Amarone. The correct answer is Crienza. Crienza is a Spanish labeling term. Which is appellation for Sangiovese? Brunello di Montacino, Chianti, Soave, Valpolicella. My, uh, my apologies for this. There's actually two, uh, two appellations that are connected with Sangiovese. It's Chianti and Brunello di Montacino. Which is not a, re a region for Nebbiolo? Piemonte, Barolo, Barbera de Asti, Barbaresco. The correct answer is C, Barbera de Asti. Which is not the classic region for Corvina? Valpolicella, Recioto de Valpolicella, Armarone de Valpolicella, Los Carneros. The correct answer is D, Los Carneros. Which region in Italy is famous for Primitivo? Toscana, Veneto, Puglia, Piemonte. The correct answer is C, Puglia. Which is a classic region for Pinotage? Walker Bay, Stellenbosch, Maipo Valley, Mendoza. The correct answer is B, Stellenbosch. Walker Bay, again, we said that it is in South Africa, but it's more connected with uh, Pinot Noir. Which is a classic region for Malbec? Mendoza, Central Otago, Walker Bay, Casablanca Valley. The correct answer is A. Mendoza. Which country is famous for Carmenere? France, Spain, Chile, and Argentina. I know some people are going to say Chile is a, uh, that Carmenere is a French grape, but today uh, Carmenere is an association with Chile. Which is not a classic region for Tempranillo? Ribera del Duero, Rioja, Coderon, Catalonia. The correct answer is C, Coderon. Which is not a classic region for Garnacha? Navarra, Rioja, Coderon, Provence. The correct answer is B, Rioja. All other regions are more connected with uh, with uh, Garnacha in Rioja, actually the main grape is Tempranillo. <clears throat> Which is not appellation in Rhone Valley? Hermitage, Côte de Rhone, Minerva, Chateauneuf de Pape. The correct answer is C, Minerva. It's located in Landoc, Roussillon. Which is not a classic region for Shiraz? Barossa, Côte Roti, Margot, Hermitage. The correct answer is C, Margot. It's located in the region of Bordeaux. Which region is known for Gamay? Chablis, Bujolet, Pomard, Catalonia. The correct answer is B, Bujolet. Which is not a classic region for Tempranillo? Ribera del Duero, Rioja, Coderon, Catalonia. The correct answer is C, Coderon. Which is not appellation of Bordeaux? Pomerol, Pomard, Omedoc, Grave. The correct answer is B, Pomard. It's located in Burgundy. Which is the most south French region? Loire, Alsace, Aron, Languedoc, Roussillon. The correct answer is D, Languedoc, Roussillon. Which is not a region of California? Napa Valley, Santa Barbara County, Sonoma, Maipo Valley. The correct answer is D, Maipo Valley. It's located in Chile. Which is not a region in Chile? Central Valley, Hunter Valley, Maipo Valley, Casablanca Valley. The correct answer is B, Hunter Valley. It's located in Australia. Which is not a region in a uh, region of Australia, Margaret River, Walker Bay, Cunovara, Barossa Valley. The correct answer is B, Walker Bay. It's located in South Africa. Which region of New Zealand is famous for Cabernet Sauvignon? Marlborough, Martinborough, Central Otago, and Hawke's Bay. The correct answer is D, Hawke's Bay. 
Term used to describe South African wine blend is Meritage, Grape Blend, Cape Blend, Amarone. The correct answer is C, Cape Blend. Which labeling term is used to describe sweet style of wine? Classico, Amarone, Recioto, Crienza. The correct answer is C, Recioto. Which labeling terms, term describes wine with shortest aging? Hoven, Crienza, Reserva, Gran Reserva. The correct answer is A, Hoven. I know this, this is a, a, a tricky one. It's not aged, but uh, the correct answer is A, Hoven. It's unaged. Which appellation indicates highest wine quality in Rhone? Côte de Rhone, Chateau Neuf de Pape, Côte de Rhone Village, Grand Cru. The correct answer is B, Chateau Neuf de Pape. Which is not a classic region for Garnacha? Navarra, Priorat, McLaren Vale, Hunter Valley. The correct answer is D, Hunter Valley. Which is a Beaujolais Cru? Fleury, Rioja, Bon, Minerva. The correct answer is A, Fleury. Which is not a Bordeaux labeling term? Grand Cru Classes, Bordeaux, Cru Bourgeois, Village. The correct answer is D. Village is not a Bordeaux labeling term. Which is uh, which of these uh, Italian regions is located in the northwest part of Italy? Veneto, Toscana, Piemonte, Puglia. The correct answer is Piemonte. Last question, which region is located in Landoc Roussillon? Yara Valley, Pomard, Coderon, Minerva. The correct answer is D, Minerva. Please let me know how well you did and uh, how well your studying is progressing. Wine people, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I hope this was fun, informative, and useful for you. It doesn't matter if you're a WST student or if you're not uh, in the wine industry. On this channel, we want to change the world of wine. Wine information and wine knowledge to be more cool, more approachable, more easy to understand. So please consider subscribing, sharing, commenting on our videos. This will help us to grow our channel. And together we can change the world of wine. I'll see you in the next video.